What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Friday video. Today is the day to go ahead and introduce you guys to the new fish that are going into the paludarium here behind me. But first let's take a look at how it's been doing since the reset and let's get a little bit of maintenance done on it before we introduce those new fish. So first things first, let's talk about all the plants above the water line. Uh, so far, all the original plants that I moved around have been regrowing and uh, really filling in. The dwarf baby tears that I put a carpet of down here has really grown. And as you can see in this corner, any plant that goes up here by the waterfall uh, just pretty much instantly grows like gangbusters. Uh, originally the dwarf baby tears was up here, now it is the Pelia decompressa, which is up near the waterfall. And it's been getting pretty regular trimmings, uh, especially so that it doesn't overshadow any of the other plants. Uh, like the new little fern that is right here that I put in at the beginning of the year. I've also had some surprise little plants pop up. Uh, this little plant down here, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's sort of sprung up uh, from the uh, dead mosses that I put in here as um, kind of an underlayment or a filler. And as for the fish down below, the uh, Ember Tetras I've noticed recently have started kind of dwindling down in numbers. I think I might have either one or two left at this point. And I think pretty much that's just them hitting their kind of lifespan point. Uh, I've had them for about five years. I was just looking back and I think they're most usually lived about two to four years. So if they're pushing five years, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I think in some cases, some have hit about 10 years, but from what I've read, that's pretty rare. And the epistles down here have also, they've either taken a break from breeding or when they breed, there may be too many snails in the tank and so the eggs are getting eaten. Um, but I have been seeing the female dig pits and kind of hiding in spots. So I'll have to keep an eye on that and see if maybe I have to start catching some snails out of this tank. All right, it's now time to introduce you to the newest additions to the paludarium tank. So here we have that secret fish that I had in the quarantine tub over the last couple of weeks. And these are hatchet fish. So as you can see, my hint was not that cryptic. It's not quite a ratchet, but it is a hatchet. So these are black wing hatchet fish. These are a fish that I kind of had an idea of putting in this tank for a long time. Uh, ever since pretty much the tank was first set up those four or five years ago. Uh, being that the tank of course has a lid on it and the water level is so low, it kind of really makes sense to have hatchet fish in this tank. They are absolutely perfectly suited for it. They can jump to their heart's desire and they have no chance of escaping. And if they happen to land on the land portion of the tank, they can very easily jump right back into the water. So there is no threat of them jumping and drying out anywhere in the tank. They can pretty much have free reign in here. And uh, they will also be able to eat any of the springtails that happen to hop off of the land into the water since they are surface feeders. These are wild caught. Uh, I originally started with a group of 12. Uh, I now have nine, so it looks like I lost three during the quarantine process. Uh, one of those, I do have to admit, was my mistake. After feeding, after feeding them, I left the lid off and these guys are opportunistic jumpers and it unfortunately didn't make it from that.
All right guys, so that's gonna do it for me today. I'm already liking how these fish are looking in this tank, but as they get a little more comfortable and start venturing around in the tank a little bit more, I'm sure we're gonna really see them a lot more and really see them start to pop in the tank. As always guys, remember to hit that like button, comment down below on what you think about this tank and the new fish so far. And remember to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in the next Friday video.